It's time for another product review and today we're going to do our maple rub. And what I want to do when I come to the spices is I want to go over as if you're a retailer looking to purchase this and you'll know how to describe this to the people that are coming into your store. So let's start with the packaging. Our packaging has our logo right in the front with good lettering right on the front to where they can read and know what it is six foot away. You can still read it. We have our nutrition panel, our list of ingredients, any allergens if they're on the bottle, which there are none on this. On the other side of the label, we have a quick brief description for the consumer to read, understand, and know what to expect when they buy this rub. And then we got our icons right there as to what we think it's good served with. Now let's open up the lid. The lid comes with shaker top with all the holes. You can open that up and you can spoon it out if you so desire. But what we're gonna do, let's do, let's get into what the most important thing is, and that's the flavor. Well, it's got a safety seal on the inside, which is there for the USDA. Let's get this ripped off. And I'm gonna start with odor. I absolutely get the maple smell immediately. Um, which I think is very important whenever you got a product called maple rub. Yeah. All right, let's pour this out. This is what it looks like on the product or on a, a whiteboard where you can see it. And this is how I go through and I test rubs. I look at rubs. I'll take and spread them out. I want to look at it. I want to see what, what I'm seeing, what I'm tasting. And, and what I see is bigger pieces of some sugar. I see that what looks like orange to you. Um, I see real fine black flakes. I know there's salt in there and there's some other flavorings. So what I'll do is I'll take my finger and I'm just gonna put it on one side of my mouth. The first flavor I get is a sweetness along with that maple, all together real quick. I get the back flavors. Oh, here comes the heat. I've got some heat in there. I am not a person that eats a lot of spicy food. So to me, this is what I'd call, I'd call it medium heat. Um, my wife, and I'm gonna be honest with you, she would call this hot. Um, but to me, this is a medium heat. Good finish and flavor. I don't have an aftertaste or a flavor that lingers other than the sweetness. Well, the, the heat's going away right now. So it's not a long standing uh, setting on my lips or my tongue and burning. So it's gone. And I'll tell you why we have it like that. And that is so that while you're cooking with this product, it has a good lasting flavor on bigger cuts of meat, say like a pork butt. If you're going to cook spare ribs or baby backs and it's going to be a three to six hour cook, you'll get a little bit of that heat, but it won't be predominant. The sweetness along with the maple will come through real strong. Let's see how it separates. You can see right there real quick. It's not separating at all. Everything looks good. The product comes in this 12.5 ounce shaker bottle. We sell it on our site and a lot of our retailers do sell it. So step into their stores and ask them where it's located. Thanks for watching this product review. We'll be back with plenty. Like and subscribe this station so that you will not miss out on any more. Thanks.